So I was called out on a recovery today and I had to find a little fitting that goes on the top of that. And uh, after about 15 minutes of messing about, I found it. And that's now got me 10 acres of permission that as well. My first ever successful recovery. Me and Buster did it. And I'm going to go and... Ken's getting his ladder now and I'm going to put it back up there for him so he doesn't lose it. Buzzing. So... Put that on your CV now. That's the missing one there. I'm just going to fit it for Ken. Right, well that's one little screw thread fitting. Not only recovered, but I've fitted it for Ken with a little bit of WD-40 so it never gets lost again. But a lot of these things are plastic now. Thank you very much, Ken, for calling me out. No, thank you for finding it. That's my first successful recovery. Brilliant. My nose has been running luck. First class man, yeah. And Ken's going to let me do a bit of detecting on his... Uh, on his uh, 10 acres pasture yeah. as a thank you next week viewers yeah. so we'll see if we can find any old coins for, for me and Ken next week thanks a lot Ken thank you <coughs> right <coughs> viewers well it was Chris who runs the local farm <coughs> shop that introduced me to Ken and that's how it works because Chris is such a nice chap we've helped Ken out today and I've got my permission awesome all right, Chris, I'm just going to get a shot of your farm <coughs> shop for the locals. Crack on. <coughs> Tell the kids that you want a free coffee as well. Tell them what's yes, Chris. See you, man. So if you're ever passing through Evesham, make sure to check out Hampton Farm Shop, Chris's Farm Shop. It's full of wonderful produce in there. I won't go in filming because of COVID, but it's a lovely farm shop, great people, and through Chris, He's helped me to help Ken today and I've helped myself by getting a nice new permission for next week. So a big shout out to Hampton Farm Shop, just outside Evesham. Happy days. I've come out to go detect them for the first time ever since uh, this latest lockdown. I haven't been out for months. I've come to meet Ken on his, at his house so he can show me the new permission. And Buster has locked himself in the car. We were just about to set off to the new permission look. I've got to get a lift now back to the flat to get my spare car key. Okay, well we got there in the end. This is my new permission. Right down to the far hedge line down there. And it goes round the corner. Unfortunately not that arable field. But you never know, I might catch them. And uh, we're just on the outskirts of um, a very historic little town known as the Jewel of the Cotswolds with loads of history. So might be an empty field. It might have something really cool in it. A couple of fields. Very bottom there's uh, a stream and a public footpath. Got there in the end, bunch. Give us a sausage roll. Or I'll lock you back out. Got a banging 88 signal with me Deus. The first target on my new permission after getting locked out my car. Rather fittingly, a key. Okay, I've been going about 15 minutes now. Only my second decent target after the key. Don't normally get excited about buttons, but when you haven't dug one for months, I think that's all this is. Light's not very good. Yeah, just a little tom back button. I'll have to have a look at my camera, see if... Oh, that's better. Okay, first button for mum's kids. So, used to have um, caravans on this field. On the bottom end, but judging by the look of where the showers or something over there were, I don't think these caravans have been here since the 70s or something. I've been going about an hour 
and I've just found my first coin. Just a little non silver sixpence from 1967. It's got a big banging signal. That would have been a good knife back in the day. Well, well built. But obviously too far gone now. First pen knife of Doug in month two. Happy Deus. It's a bit, bit squally now. It's a bit windy and rainy. It's got this little uh, buckle. God bless you, Buster. I'll, I'll take you over there and we'll shelter for ten minutes. I've got a new screen on my phone and I don't know whether it's a new screen or the screen saver on it but I'm not getting nice clear pictures so I will remedy this as soon as I can viewers. Mind you it is, it is a bit dark out here now. Not great though this screen, I'll, I'll take the uh, screen saver protector off it see if that helps. Well. The oldest find I've had up to now has been one tombak button. Been a little bit of foil and trash because of um, the caravans, but that's only on this bottom end. This old building I am leaning up against, it must have been a shower block or laundry block. It's very dilapidated, so I'll, I'll ask Ken, but I'm guessing the caravans would have been here in the 70s or something. Uh, if no ancient stuff comes up, there's got to be a coin spill of pre-death silvers or something. I might not get it today, there might be a brooch, there might be a bit of jewellery. I'll keep coming back until I get something, but it's, it's nice to be out finally. And I hope you're all getting out as well, viewers. It's been a grind down, hasn't it? It's been really tough. I did nearly a year of furlough where my physical health went down because a lot of the time we couldn't detect and... I wasn't getting much in the way of physical exercise. I'm back at work now, but I'm driving all over the place every day. 370 miles the other day delivering uh, COVID vaccination centre signs. It's nice to be out. It'd be nice to get a silver today, but we'll get something off, off these fields eventually, kids. Well, I just stood up and got going again. This is possibly a Roman. Can you see like there's some sort of raised profile on there in the middle? Definitely not a button or anything. Could be part of a Roman. There was some sort of a pattern on that bit as well. Possibly a bit of an old Roman that, which would be a good sign. Yeah, see that could be part of the face there. Interesting. It's got a big banging signal, my first pretty find of the day. It's not complete, but it's still pretty. Top of a big spoon. Thought it was possibly silver, but uh, pewter or silvered. Very nice design though. Hopefully there's some more pretty finds, preferably complete. She's got this blank copper, it was about seven inches down. It's only my second coin today. So it's not jumping out the ground on this new permission. It's very windy as well. Look a little Buster. Buster follows me round the field all day like this, like me little shadow if I walk like obviously I'm normally detecting. But he's like me little shadow this dog. And he's uh, he was 15 last November. He's got no teeth now. It's Buster the Wonder Dog, aren't you, mate? And he always picks loads of bears and thistles up. I go to stroke him and you never know what you'll find. 
Oh, I love you, mate. We'll get off in 10 minutes, bust. We'll just be tacked up to the car. So that was my first day back out in Mum's Fuse. And uh, I've got to say, New Land didn't produce. But on the positive side, me and Buster got out for a good few hours. And uh, might go back there tomorrow or next week just to uh, sign off on it, give it one last try. <laughs> I mean, yeah, do you just go twice to 10 acres? But um, sometimes you get a feel for fields. I look like I need some sleep. And I don't know why I do it sometimes. So I've come back from a quiet day, literally first time out for ages. And as you do, you sit on Facebook and I've had my quiet day with all my trials and tribulations of Buster locking me out the car and stuff as well. And uh, look on Facebook and like somebody's just been out on their new permission uh, and they got loads of signals and nice finds. Uh, Marky Mark's gone digging, he's just had one of his best days. Uh, two Roman silvers, countless Roman bronzes, Roman brooch. <laughs> I shouldn't look, I shouldn't look at Facebook when I've had a quiet day, but there's always somebody out there in the community having the best day ever. And then, sods though, somebody else is having a quiet day. But that, that's metal detecting, isn't it, kids? And uh, I think I'll do away with me jazzy titles, at least for the time being. Uh, I don't watch hardly any metal detecting YouTube videos. It's not because I don't respect any of the channels and that. There's some channels out there I massively respect. I just like watching other stuff. I watch a guy called um, Bald, Bald and Bankrupt. He goes around um, Russia and the former Soviet territories. He's obsessed with the word Soviet and finding Soviet sinks and uh, the Akrana plan and museums of space and stuff just in random little forgotten Soviet cities. Uh, and he's got like 347 million views and he's only been going two years now bald and bankrupt he don't have any titles i don't even think he has any adverts maybe it's patreon that's keeping him going so just going to do away with my titles and some of these hundreds of million view youtubers they don't even have wind jammers so i have been proved correct in my philosophy of always keeping it simple so no more titles hardly i'll just drop in my detechnics banner because detechnics do sponsor me and they're a great shop from down south so any of your needs just hit their website up tell them uh, that bleary eyed bugger sent you you wouldn't believe that i don't drink or take drugs anymore it's just just been working too hard and not getting sleep but um Back on it, back on it, kids. I only got a few bits and bobs, but that's all cool. We got out. Um, that little fragment of a coin, I've had another look at it. It definitely is Roman. So you can see it wasn't a total blank today. I got part of a Roman coin and uh, a sixpence that wasn't silver. Still a sixpence. Uh, shout out to True and Randall and Jordan Button. Even when I used to find the silver sixpences with them, they'd take the piss out of me because we'd be on like fields that have chucked up Saxon coins. And uh, they'd say, oh, Steve, you've done it again. You've missed the Saxons. You've only gone and found a sixpence on a Saxon field. Well, that's another thing I miss at the minute. Banter with me mates. So I'll have banter with you instead, viewers. God bless, love you all, hope you get yourselves out there soon yourselves, or have been doing, and when you do next, I hope you have a brilliant day. Alright guys, catch you later, be lucky.